What do you think of the new Noctua coolers? Do you like the color scheme? Or do you prefer this color scheme? Okay, he's walking away now, but look, he matches the fan, like he matches the Noctua fan. <laughs> just butt, yeah, just his butt. <laughs> Today, we're gonna have a very basic unboxing video. Now, I know that not everyone likes unboxing videos, but at the filming of this video, it is actually Canadian Thanksgiving, and I've got some stuff that I wanna do, so unfortunately, I don't have time for a more complicated video. But I am really excited about the product that we're looking at today. Not just because of, well, obvious fanboy impl implications, but I've never actually interacted with one of the legendary Noctua air coolers. Now, if there's one thing that everyone knows about Noctua products, aside from the fact that they perform exceptionally well, is the fact that they're all kind of a prosthetic limb brown. Now, I personally don't mind the poo brown color scheme. I actually think it works very well with white cases for some reason, but it's something that many people disagree with me on. So it's taken the collaboration with a scrappy little Canadian tech YouTube channel uh, for Noctua to turn their mind around and make an all black stealth version of two of their coolers. Now I'm actually lucky enough to have the Noctua NHU12S Chromax Black Linus Tech Tips Edition. Before we get into the actual Linus Tech Tips designed cooler, uh, let's have a look at the packaging. Now, as you can see, the LTT badge is very prominently featured on the box, uh, but apparently they're only gonna make a couple thousand, I'm not quite sure how many, of the Linus Tech Tips variants, and then the rest of them are just gonna be the normal stealth version. Uh, one thing that I'm a bit sad about is the fact that they didn't use um, an NFA12 fan, which is their newer, very epic fan, uh, but as far as I know, they have some issues turning that fan black, like painting it black, because of the materials that they use for the propeller and stuff like that. Fan blades? I don't know if propeller is, <laughs> is really the correct term. Now, if you actually look at the specifications of the cooler, um, it comes with a 1500 RPM version of the Noctua NFF12, uh, which is a pretty good version uh, to have on a cooler because it's got good performance and is also very quiet. Like if you look here at the max acoustical noise, it's only 22.4 decibels, which is very, very quiet. Uh, it also comes with a low noise adapter if you want it even more quiet, but then you're not gonna have as much, um, as much kind of cooling performance with the cooler. Now, apparently it was very difficult for them to paint the cooler black. I don't really know why, because um, all other cooler manufacturers seem to do it quite easily, but they, they have a long spiel about how they, they, they wanted to paint it black and not affect the amazing performance of their coolers. So let's actually open it up. It's a very sturdy feeling box. I actually do like the packaging. It was heavier than I expected it to be. Okay, so over here, you've got the actual mounting equipment, uh, which is also, it's, it's a fairly significant box. And then over here, we have what I assume is the actual cooler, which I'm always very bad at unboxing. So there's this, which tells you what cooler it is. And then here, Am I gonna ruin this box accidentally by... There we go, there we go. And here we have the cooler, which again, I'm, I'm trying not to damage the packaging because, you know, it's a special edition cooler. Does that matter? <laughs> does, does it matter to anyone? Um, now, I, I really like the idea of the, of the U12S because size-wise, it's a very nice size for a cooler. It actually looks really epic. Like it's, I, I really like the paint that they use. Now, I knowing Noctua, they're gonna say that the reason that, they're, that they use this specific paint is because of like, you know, thermal transfer properties and stuff like that. But it is a pretty awesome like tone shade of black. Um, yeah, that's a very nice looking cooler, but we'll have a look at that just now. And then let's see if there's anything else in here. No, so that's just packaging. And then let's have a look at the, the actual mounting accessories. So here you have all the orange Linus Tech Tips swag. Um, so here you have a sticker that you can put on the actual fan hub. And then you also have a case sticker by them, um, which you know you can put this badge on a, on a case if you, really wanna, if you really want that kind of 
kind of LTT swag going. And then these are, it's it's very orange. Um, it looks a bit like, like cheese it. Yeah, it, it does look a bit like artificial cheese orange. Oh, uh, we've got some nickel. What do you think about the orange? Okay, he's not particularly interested in the orange. Okay, so let's move that aside. And then in here we have the actual mounting hardware. There's also some very nice, some very nice documentation. It actually feels, so this is the actual um, like guide on how to mount the cooler. It feels really nice. It's very, it's, it's very well presented actually. Um, and then in here we have common parts. So this is like an extra fan clip. Uh, so you can add another fan and then there's a low noise adapter. And then they give you NTH1 thermal paste, which is not their most, it's not their most recent thermal paste, but I don't know how much of a difference that makes. Performance wise, there isn't a huge difference between the two of them. And then here's some more black um, anti-vibration pads. And then here we have the actual mounting hardware, which feels very solidly made. Um, I guess this also is involved in the mounting of the cooler. And then here is an actual, this is quite a nice screwdriver. It's like an angled, like screwdriver. Um, I actually think that goes through the middle of the cooler to actually screw it down. So through that hole, and then you can actually mount it. So that's a very smart, smart uh, mounting system. And then in here we have, oh, immediately drop it. Uh, here we have the actual back plate, um, which is also, everything is a very nice shade of black. Okay, and then over here we have a note from Linus himself. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get off the box. What do you think you can fit? Nika chan, you're a big yeah. boy. Yeah, you're not gonna fit into the cooler box, buddy. <clears throat> and now we're just quickly gonna get back to the actual cooler, which, yeah, I, I think it looks really amazing. They couldn't have chosen a better shade of black to make it. And according to the Linus Tech Tips video on this, it doesn't affect the performance of the cooler. Uh, so they did, they did actually achieve what they wanted to with it. And here, as you can see, the actual heat pipes are also painted and they don't make direct contact with the base. I'm sure that was some kind of performance related decision that they made. Um, but yeah, so there's not much more for me to say about this cooler without having, you know, doing actual tests with it. But it's, you know, th there are a lot of reviews about this cooler all over the internet. And the only difference between this one and the other um, U12S's is the fact that it's black and it's got LTT stuff with it. And with that, it brings me to the end of a very basic video. I didn't do any more in-depth kind of breakdowns of the cooler because honestly, um, it's a very well covered cooler uh, and the performance hasn't changed between this one and the other versions of it. It just looks all badass in the stealth black and with the Linus Tech Tips swag that comes with it. I'm not sure whether or not I'm actually gonna use this in a build. Uh, I actually want to do like a Neko, like a cat themed build where I use the kind of like original Noctua colors for it because that's a pretty good theme because we have a cat that matches it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but let me know in the comment section below which one you'd like to see. Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, click the bell notification to get you know more notifications of the videos. And I've got Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, many things. Check it out in the description below. And until the next video, bye-bye. Okay, and then over here, we have a note from Linus himself. So it says, partnerships in the PC industry develop in many ways, sometimes through doing business together, sometimes as friends, and sometimes simply out of respect. It's the last one that led to the product you're holding in your hands today. I've always had the deepest respect for Noctua's unwavering dedication to ease of use, quality, and performance. I'm just not a big fan of their original color scheme. I think the pun must surely be intended there. So with that in mind, I'm incredibly excited to be partnering with them to launch the Chromax.black versions of some of their most legendary coolers. I know you'll love them as much as I do. Oh. <laughs>